Hi, I'm Steve Shannon, Product Application Specialist for Wheel Tractor Scrapers from the GCI Load and Haul Marketing Team. Safe operations are critical in scraper operations to ensure optimum cycle times. As an operator comes into the cut, he or she must be aware of surroundings, steer the machine, control their speed, and avoid traffic. I would like to show you the manual controls in the cab of a 637K dual engine open bowl wheel tractor scraper and how the optional sequence assist feature makes operating easier than ever. Sequence Assist combines software and position sensing cylinders to automate manual tasks for the operator. In total, it reduces 14 manual tasks in a complete load, haul, dump, and return cycle down to four pushes of a single button. Let's get started by looking at the manual joystick control functions of the machine implements and transmission hold. To control the bowl, push the joystick control forward to lower the scraper bowl. Pull back to raise it. Push the joystick control to the left to move the ejector forward. Push the joystick control partially to the right to move the ejector backward. Engage the auto return by pushing the joystick control to the right past the detent position and release the joystick to the hold position. The thumb lever is used for the apron control on open ball scrapers and elevator speed and direction on elevator scrapers. Push the thumb lever partially to the left to lower the apron. Push the thumb lever to the right to raise the apron. Activate float by completely pushing the thumb lever to the left and releasing immediately. The float position should be used during the haul. The float mode allows the height of the bowl to be adjusted without spilling material onto the road surface. The left push button controls the transmission hold and prevents the transmission from shifting during normal operation. Use the transmission hold to prevent frequent transmission shifts when operating on rough terrain and maintain second gear while loading the machine. This matches the first speed on the push dozer by design. The right push button is used for the cushion hitch control. Deactivate while loading the bowl to keep it rigid in the cut. The advanced cushion hitch connects the tractor with the gooseneck of the scraper. When activated, it cushions and smooths the ride even with a loaded bowl and at top speed. This helps in extending the life of the hitch and all major components. The top center push button is used for lifting and lowering the bale. At the beginning of the push-pull operation, the rear scraper is pushing the lead scraper. Once loaded, the bale on the rear scraper locks on the hook and the lead scraper pulls the rear scraper. When the load is completed, push the button again raising the bale to disengage. Let's review how Sequence Assist automates the manual functions of the joystick. With Sequence Assist, pushing a button puts the machine to work, setting itself up to load, haul, dump, and return. Sequence Assist can be programmed with the operator's preference for bowl and apron height. The Mode Select button on the joystick activates sequentially the four Sequence Assist modes, load, haul, dump, and return. When programming the Sequence Assist modes, Park the machine and place it in neutral. Unlock the implement lock and disengage the parking brake. Manually adjust the bowl and apron to your desired position for the corresponding sequence to be programmed. Hold the mode button for the corresponding sequence to be programmed. For example, ready to dig. Left indicator light will illuminate. Once the preset level has been saved, the indicator light to the right will illuminate. Release the button. Repeat this process for the additional sequence assist modes by again adjusting the implements and programming them with the keypad. A light will illuminate on the sequence assist panel indicating which preset has been selected. As the operator approaches the cut area, he will prepare the bowl to excavate, pressing the ready to dig mode. 
The operator can select any of the presets to activate by depressing the desired keypad button. Ready to dig? We'll lock down the hitch, making the frame rigid through the cut. Raise the apron, set the bowl height, and lock the transmission in second gear. The operator can fine tune the bowl height and apron position according to the terrain and material conditions using the joystick. When the cut has been completed, the operator presses the ready to haul preset. This raises the bowl, closes the apron, releases the cushion hitch, and releases transmission hold. The operator proceeds through the haul to the fill area. When arriving to the fill area, the operator selects the ready to unload preset. This lowers the bowl to the predefined lift height, raises the apron, and brings the ejector forward. The operator controls the machine speed and spreads the bowl contents in the fill in a nice even lift. Ready to haul empty sends the ejector back, closes the apron, raises the bowl to a preset height, and the operator can concentrate on returning to the cut to begin the next cycle. Wheel tractor scrapers have long been considered the basic methods of moving large volumes of earth. Recent improvements in design and manufacturing have made the current tractor scraper models even more productive, offering greater potential for profit than previous models. Caterpillar engineers have made them easier than ever to operate. Sequence Assist will appeal to experienced and new operators. It reduces mental demand for all operators by automating the many manual tasks necessary to complete a full load, haul, dump, and return scraper cycle. It results in reduced operator fatigue, increased situational awareness, and safety on the job site. New operators can learn quickly, perform consistent cycles, and be productive immediately. Ask your Caterpillar sales representative today for more information on the productivity gains you can expect from CAT wheel tractor scrapers.